In this video, I want to keep looking at our sample document and let's look at four things that we can do to add interest to this document, to improve this document, to format it in the way that we would like. First, let's format the document itself. Maybe you need to change margins or something of that nature. That's going to be under the File menu all the way down to Page Setup. We want to set up how the page looks. Do we want the orientation to be portrait or landscape? What size do we want the margins to be? Are we really working on a letter size document? Or do we have some other odd size that we need? You can even change the background color if you want the background color to be slightly different as a way to sort of bring attention to the document. All of those things happen in page setup. And so you can do those to format the document in the way that you want. Um, I also want to look at formatting text. In our first basic video, we looked at the just the basics across the top. Bold, italics, underline, centering the text, those kinds of things. But there are certainly more things that you can do. So let's look under the Format menu for a moment. Under Formatting Text, there are the ones that we talked about. Bold, italics, and underline. You have additional options for strike through, superscript, subscript. We don't use those a lot, although strike through sometimes you do. Capitalization, that's what a lot of people will do. They'll suddenly want to change something to all uppercase or title case. You don't have to delete and retype. Just select whatever you have, go to your format, text, and let's make that title case. And the first letter of each word would be capitalized if that's what you wanted. We can undo that because that's not how we really want it at the moment. You can also edit things like aligning and denting here, left, center, and justified, increasing the indentations like you can at the top. Um, you have the option to do line spacing. How far apart do you want your lines? Do you want them to be double spaced? Um, do you want them to be single spaced? Uh, that's a thing that you can work with. 1.15 spacing is the default for Google. You can put things in columns if necessary. And up at the top, we had the option for bullets and numbering. But there are lots of ways to make that look. You can see there are different styles for numbered list and different styles for bulleted list. So you can come and choose and make yours a little bit more interesting in that way. So formatting document, formatting the text. Next, let's look at adding a hyperlink just in case you aren't familiar with that. A hyperlink simply means it's a link that's going to take us to somewhere else when we click on it. And so I'm going to add some text that says visit our resources for families page. Maybe you want to send someone over to see the resources that we have available for families. I'm going to go to that website. I'm going to copy the link at the top of the page. I'm going to come back and select Resources for Families page. And now to make it a link, I'm just going to come up and click the little icon of a link that looks like kind of a chain link. I click it, and you'll see that what I've highlighted is Resources for Families page. That's what it's going to say, but I'm going to paste my link here. That's where it's going to take me. So now if someone clicks on this link, these words, it will take them to this website. And that's how you build in a hyperlink. The last thing is to show you how to bring in a graphic into your, uh, into your document, because that's really a great way to add visual interest. Uh, it sort of draws attention to things. It pictures worth a thousand words sometimes. So in this document, we're talking about formatting. So let's say I wanted to add something that says, here's what we're going to talk about. So I'm going to come up here and click Insert and insert image. You can see I could upload one from my computer. I could search the web, add one from my Google Drive or other places if I had one ready. I don't have one ready, so I'm going to search the web. Okay. And I'm going to type in format and do a search. And these are the items that I get. And I want something. I'm going to take this one right here. I click on it. I insert it. And it adds that image where my cursor was but you can see it's huge. Uh, I'm going to click on it and shrink it down to the size that I want. Now, 
Here below, I can add it in line with my text, wrapping the text, or breaking the text. At this moment, it is in line with the text. That means it treats this graphic item as just another letter in this row of typing. So the bottom of the graphic will always be lined up with the bottom of the words. And I can't really change that. That's how that's going to be. What we usually choose is wrap text. That's what lets the text move around. I can move this anywhere I want, and the text will wrap around it. So I can put it in the middle of the page, I can go from one side to the other, and the text will just continue to format itself around it. This lets me choose how far away the text is from the side. I'm going to move it in a little bit closer, and I'm going to leave it just like that. And now I have a heading that says, here we're going to talk about formatting. And that's a bit more eye-catching than just, just starting to type. So, in this video we took a quick look at formatting the document some formatting text options, inserting a hyperlink, and inserting graphics. Hope that helps you work better with your Google Docs.